Time to clean the colon! <laughs> Hey, I'm Nathan Crane. I'm Derek Crane. And this is Fitness Friday, the Colonic Edition. Ba ba ba! So Derek's headed down to Albuquerque to get a colonic today, which brought up the subject, hey, why don't we talk about colonics, right? We've both done them, I've done them in the past, and we both find them really valuable. So we want to talk with you a little bit about it, also about the uncomfortability of it and how to get through that, and what are the benefits of it and why should you consider doing it? So first off, you know, what is a colonic? Colonic is they take a... Um, basically a, a water uh, liquid and send it up your colon to help clean out your colon. So why do we need to do that? It's kind of well, what I like to think of is in the terms of if you were to change the oil in your vehicle every, you know, every 5,000 miles to get rid of the old oil that is now dirty and grimy and can be in there and just not allow the vehicle to perform to perform at its highest capacity right. is to be able to change it out and put new fluid into it. This same the same applies within like a doing a colonic to be able to clean out the old. And one thing that it does help with is if there is a, a layer of mucoid plaque that is forming through the standard American diet, through highly processed foods, dairy, cheeses, it'll actually, that's what's called mucus forming foods, will create a mucoid plaque and will actually make the colon not perform at its highest capacity. And so the, what, what a colonic can do is it can go in and clean that out and help to remove that mucoid plaque as well. Yeah, I mean, um, if you eat a high meat diet also, I mean, there I've yeah. seen autopsies, um, documented autopsies where people have been found with 30 pounds of dead animal flesh, meat, beef, you know, pork, things like that, stuck in the colon. And so if you're not having at least three good sized bowel movements every single day, your colon, potentially your intestines could be jammed up. Yeah. It's really common with people who eat high animal product diets. And uh, if you're eating a high plant-based diet, you'll see that your, um, your system will work a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, also through cleansing, I mean, it, you know, you could be eating foods that are really greasy, really sticky, things like that. Yeah. So when you're eating more pure plant foods that, you know, are not with a lot of grease, or with a lot of dairy, with a lot of sticky stuff, um, you're going to have, you know, constant bowel movements every single day. And that's a way to cleanse. But a good, you know, supplement you can do is go in and get a colonic. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. It's sticking yeah. Little tube in your butt and shoot water up there, and you're like, What the heck? It feels like you're gonna poop the whole time, and you're like trying to, and they're like, No, hold it in, hold it in. You're like trying to hold it in, <laughs> it's like really weird and uncomfortable. But think if you think about it, like Derek said, it's a great, it's a tune up, it's a tune up to your system. You know, the uh, many doctors I've interviewed have all said, um, have told me, you know, most diseases start in the colon. What do they mean by that? Well, when food gets stuck in there. Um, and it starts to deteriorate and rot, it attracts bacteria, it attracts viruses, it attracts opportunity for diseases to form. So if you have clean intestines, if you have a clean colon, um, your diet's really clean, it's very likely that your, your whole body is going to be clean and you're going to help prevent disease. But overall, as you said, like, it's a great way to think of just like improving overall performance, yep. right? Just as your, your body performing at a higher level, keep that colon clean. So true. And and one reason why why I'm going, even though even though I've been on going on seven years of organic and vegan and even doing cleansing and you know, forty day juice fasts, ten day juice fasts, being really, really conscious and aware of eating organic, non GMO for going on seven years now, still before that there was twenty years of um, eating more of the standard American diet. It's toxic food, right? Toxic food. Yeah. So, you know, taking into account that there's 20 years of that compared to just seven years opens up my own eyes. It's like, yeah, you know, I still I still have some cleansing to do, still still being able to, to clean out and 
knowing and knowing the results of it that there's that there's massive healing that goes on within the entire system if you're able to get out what you said what's gut rotting what, right. what could be gut rotting what could right. be mucoid plaque build build up just to be able to allow your body to perform at its highest capacity is obviously internally is it performing at its highest capacity yeah so i mean before you get disgusted or weirded out of things like that it's actually it's been around for thousands of years yeah. you know even in the dead sea scrolls in the books that were found that were thousands of years old to be believed to be uh, spoken to through Jesus, right? Um, that this information was written down. He was teaching people, or whoever it was at that time, but they believe it was Jesus, he was teaching people how to do self enemas yeah. to clean out all the toxins, all the animal products, all the, you know, the alcohol and things that they were drinking at that time. Um, and he was teaching them to do enemas. Enemas is a very similar thing um, that, that to, to, a, uh, to colon hydrotherapy, it just doesn't go as deep into the colon, but they were teaching people how to do it with gourds, right, at the river, you know, so this is an ancient practice, but it is uh, medically validated now, meaning that, you know, you go in, it's a, it's a clean environment, it's a safe environment, it's a, you know, it's a private environment, it's not like anyone's ever going to find out about it, but, you know, if you've never done it, I highly recommend you you know, if you're someone who's interested in your health and your well-being and becoming better in every way, highly recommend you try it. It's safe, it's, uh, it's effective, and, and you will feel results afterwards. So, you know, look for a colon hydrotherapist in your area. Go get a session. Go even get a consultation from them and see if it's right for you. Definitely encourage you to try it. Um, you know, we want to give you tips like this on an ongoing basis of just continuous things you can do to improve your overall health and well-being, and this is one of them. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Go ahead and hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we appreciate you guys as always. See you guys in the next video. Thanks. Take care. <laughs>